And when Brighton means high school extra. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Goldman. Sacco alongside, as always, it's National Signing Day for high school football players. We'll run down where all the top recruits are headed. Plus, we'll welcome in Phil Macklin of Proviso East and John Butcher of Wheaton Warrenville South to talk about their college picks. And also joining us here in our studio tonight, Jared Payton and St. Vider head coach Kevin Kelly. We'll talk about the difficult day yesterday was for the Payton family. Ron Turner has one of the best recruiting classes ever seen at Illinois, according to Lemming. They may even rank in the top 25 nationally. Turner got five of the nation's top 100 prospects, including one of our guests tonight, Illinois Player of the Year, Phil Macklin from Proviso East. We've got 12 guys from the state of Illinois, which is always important to us. We want to dominate the state of Illinois. Our goal is not to lose a single player from the state that we want. We didn't accomplish that. Um, we did lose some guys, but, you know, that's to be expected. The state's hit very, very hard in recruiting, but we feel great about the impact that we've had in the state of Illinois and feel good about keeping guys at home. Phil Macklin, number 45, the Illinois Player of the Year, Proviso East, and he'll be heading to the Illini and Ron Turner's. That's Welcome, both of you guys. The studious look tonight. I've never seen him wear those glasses before. <laughs> Just for us, yeah. You look good. <laughs> uh, let's start with Phil, and uh, let's talk about Illinois a little bit here and the decision to go down there. I know the bridge program obviously plays a role in that, and Ron Turner. Uh, I talked to Tom Lemming, was out here last week, and Chris Poole with the recruiting experts. Mm -hmm. This is Ron Turner's best haul in Illinois, maybe in the last couple of decades. If, uh, if they talk to you about how great a class this is and how much you've uh, made it a great class? Well, yeah, I heard there was a lot of people coming down, so they had picked a lot of people to come and join their team. And they haven't had one of the best records, you know, in the past in their history. So hopefully, maybe we can change that around. You played so many different positions in high school. I'm not sure there's a position you didn't play. Have they given any indication to you what, what side of the ball you'll play on, where you're earmarked here for playing when the time comes? Well, actually, yeah. They told me I'll be playing both sides of the ball just like I did in high school. So oh, really? I'm looking forward to it again. Linebacker so. and what else? Receiver. Receiver and yeah. linebacker. Yeah. And you did punting this year, too. What did you average punting? Uh, like 45, 50 45 yards, yards yeah. Punt. That's <laughs> all. You can do a little punting, too. <laughs> uh, you were second-leading tackler on defense, weren't you? Yes, yes. Who else did it come down to besides Illinois that you were looking at, seriously? Um, Michigan State, Iowa, Purdue, just to name a couple of them. What was the attraction also staying home? Was that part of it, being here in Illinois? Or? Oh, most definitely. Staying around family, you know, just not being close, but not being as far where they can come and see me play and everything like that. So. And you guys have, well, at least, Phil, you have experience turning a program around because Proviso East wasn't exactly known for a football yeah. team when you first got there, and now you guys meet, took them to the playoffs for the first time, isn't it, this year? Well, that's true because... Provides those as a basketball team, so I'll tell you that from the get-go. But um, we changed that around, and hopefully people will start looking at Proviso as a multi, you know, a multicultural thing, you know, football, basketball, track, whatever. So we're trying to change everything around. Hopefully it'll be for the best. You never played against each other. The three of you have never met on the football field at any point anywhere in your careers, right? Never. No. Can you imagine the, the recruiters out there salivating right now, looking at the talent that's right here? If they could have just, you, you get these three guys right here, it's enough to build a program around. Call the hotline, right? Call the hotline. <laughs> Jarrett does have a little connection with John, though, because his friends go to Barrington, and his girlfriend Lauren goes to Barrington. So right there, there's a connection. Of course, we know Barrington played Wheaton in the 6A title game. And, uh, Come what on. happened, Jarrett, in that game? Oh, man, I was, I was uh, <laughs> a little disappointed in my man right here. You know, he's, he was throwing the ball. He, he hit a... One of the best games I've probably ever seen in high school football, and uh, you know, I just I want to congratulate him on that, and you know, my guys at Banff are sitting at home. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> sure, he looks pretty good. I mean, both of you guys must have sit back. I mean, you didn't get to play against them, but you obviously were watching and saw the numbers that they put up, and a receiver that you are. Could you ever imagine yourself? I mean, what it would be like to be in a, an offense like that, the run and shoot? I mean, what, he throws the ball 45, 50 times a game? Well, actually, for myself, I went to the championship game and watched him play, and I I couldn't I I couldn't even I was out of it. Just my speech, <laughs> I was just out of it when I seen him play and the receivers that he had to throw to. I mean, they just as talented as he are. So we got to take a break. We'll come back. I promise. We open up the phone lines. We got John Butcher, Jared Payton, Phil Macklin, all in the house on High School Extra. We're back in just a moment. Welcome back, John Butcher's here along with Jared Payton and Phil Macklin, and Sacco as well, and let's go out to the phone lines for these youngsters, and let's start with Keith in Maywood. Hi, Keith. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Phil's <laughs> laughing already. <laughs> What's up, Phil? How are you, Keith? I'm all right. <laughs> I, want to say, I want to say congratulations for you making your debut in Illinois this, this year or next year, whatever you're going to play. I just want to remind you that 
you know, don't forget about the times when I was thinking you were practice. And you and I've shut you down. I just want to remind you about that. Somebody actually was able to shut you down in practice, or Keith just uh, think oh, it, thinks he could? Uh -oh. Well, Keith, Keith's a, a big part of our football program up there. One of the best DBs we had in a long time, you know, and I give him a lot of credit. He played hard every game, so he has all my respect. How's he looking on TV there, Keith? Yeah, he, he looking pretty studious. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, Keith, let me ask you a question. How do you think you would have fared against Wheaton Warrenville South's offense since you're a DB? How would you have shut down uh, Schweigert and Butcher and those guys? Well, me, Sean Stiles, and Joey Scott, we have a pretty good defensive back. Um, I think we'd have fared pretty good. I don't know. I have to. We really have to play the game to see what would have happened. I won't want to say what we really could do. I think right. we'd have a good chance. So. Okay. Thanks, Keith, for the call. All right. I appreciate it. Um, one of the ch ch reasons for going down to Illinois is it uh, maybe to be part of something that's rebuilding, to bring this team back to prominence, and to be part of that class that eventually gets this program turned around. Oh well, most definitely, it's it's going to be it's going to be nice for me as an individual to get down there with the older guys and more experienced players who know what what it's all about. You know, they struggle, but they can bring it up. You know, and for us as a young group to come in and we have a couple more years to build up that program and go as far as we can get. Gonna, it's going to help us out in the long run. I imagine also, too, just I mean, the way they've played the last couple of years, there's got to be a chance for some immediate playing time for a kid mm -hmm. with, with your talent, no matter which position you end up uh, picking. <laughs> well, I hope so. I'm, I'm going down there, and I'm going to try to make my statement, you know, working on my grades and get everything in order right now so I can make my statement. Coach Caldwell is at Proviso East. Hey, Coach. Hey, what's up? How are you? Oh, I'm straight. How you guys doing? Good. <laughs> uh, Philip, what's going on? Nothing much, Coach. Hey, I just want to say it was a pleasure having you around. I was Phillips freshman football coach. When this guy backpedaled 50 yards in the end zone oh, yeah. backwards, you know, I knew he was talented. But actually, <laughs> Phillip is a better basketball player than a football player. We can tell the people a little bit about that. Really? Yeah. How come you're not playing on the basketball team? You need a little break or what? <laughs> well, actually, man, I, I just got tired of playing basketball. It's, that's the truth. I mean, I run track, so, I mean, that's another reason why I didn't play basketball, to get ready for track, because I went downstate for track last year, so, but pretty much, I'm football and track. Basketball is out of it pretty much right He's now. He's doing pretty good basketball this season, too, even without you. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they are. So. What, what events do you run in track, Phil? Uh, I run the 4 by one long jump, shot put, 4 by 2 the 55 hurdles, 110 hurdles. Basically, what I do in football, I do in track. <laughs> yeah, because our event he didn't mention there, I'm not sure. <laughs> George, you're going to run track, aren't you, this spring? I think so. You guys might see each other somewhere along the way, then. Nah, I don't do those hurdles and stuff. <laughs> I'm just a sprinter, that's all I am. <laughs> Stay away from anything with a leaping there, <laughs> no, over any object or anything like that. Coach, thanks for the phone call. Let me get, uh, before our final break, Becky is in Maywood. Hi, Becky. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. I'm Becky Ratliff. I'm Coach Rat's wife, Phil. This is oh. Phil Macklin. <laughs> How you doing? Doing real well. Just wanted to call and encourage you. You know, Coach Ratliff was a wide receiver, too. And, um, Phil, you're just uh, really an inspiration for young people. But I'm calling as an alumnus of Proviso East and also an alumnus of the University of Illinois. I wanted to, you to know that uh, we're really proud of you. So just keep going. Thank you very much. Thanks, Becky, for the call. Here's they couldn't see. Yeah, well, really. yeah. Welcome back. Final uh, moments here on High School Extra. John Butcher, Jared Payton, Phil Macklin, Coach Kelly from St. Viator here for the last couple of seconds. We'll be back here next week with Saco, so we'll see you then. Good night, everybody.